Hello, my name is Dr. Simon Chi, and I'm a third year resident at the University of Hawaii General Surgery Residency Program. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity to present this video. I'll be presenting a case where percutaneous electrohydraulic lithotripsy is being used to remove large cholelithiasis. I have no disclosures to reveal. This is an interesting case of a 67-year-old male who underwent pancreatic duodenectomy for a 3-centimeter obstructing ampullary villus adenoma. He was doing well until five years postoperatively, presented with postprandial epigastric pain and finding consistent with cholangitis. His history is mainly significant for undergoing pancreatic duodenectomy. He also underwent a laparoscopic cholecystectomy and appendectomy. His initial workup was significant for hyperbilirubinemia, transaminitis, and an MRCP confirming these findings of biliary obstruction. Here is a T2 weighted MRCP, which is notable for both intrapatic and extrapatic ductal dilation, as well as a 13 by 15 millimeter filling defect in the distal common bowel duct. He subsequently underwent an ERCP. It showed a suture at the cholidocal jejunostomy, which was acting as a nidus for stone formation. After consultation with the operating surgeon, the decision was made to endoscopically remove the suture. He seemed to be doing well until he returned with current postprandial pain. Again, MRCP showed a large filling defect at the distal column bowel duct. Unfortunately, this time ERCP was unsuccessful. He was then seen by our interventional radiologist who placed a percutaneous biliary drain. Here, we have the initial cholangiogram obtained when placed in the percutaneous biliary drain. A balloon sweep was performed and a portion of the calculi was pushed into the small bowel. Given these failed attempts to clear the duct, we took him to the operating room for a percutaneous cholidocoscopy and electrohydraulic lithotripsy of these stones. We dilated the percutaneous tract to accommodate a 12 French vascular sheath. Here you can see suture material on the left and our targeted cholidocothiases. Now we introduce an electrohydraulic lithotripsy probe to fragment the stone to small enough pieces to be flushed through the duct. We use flexible cystoscopy graspers to extract any visible remnant sutures. We then use cystoscopy shears to completely extract these sutures. Here we have our completion cholangiogram, which still shows a small defect. We visually confirm this to be a blood clot formed during the procedure. Thank you for your time and attention.